Hi, teacher. Good night. I hope you're doing great today. I'm Cynthia Gonzalez, and I'm going to talk about uh, mind mapping as a visual aid, as it has been part of my journey, uh, my learning journey during uh, many years of my studying life. So first of all, um, you see here actually a uh, mind map. Mind map, mind map is created by images. Well, I'm not using uh, images in this case because I think it's better to use some of the keywords, which is part of the of the steps to of, of doing a, a mind map. But like as you see here, everything is linked, and we will discuss about it. Actually, one of the this well the first step of the mind mapping is to have the main concept in the center and all the surround um, all uh, the rest key concepts around the main uh, uh, around the central topic so we have here an outline and i'm going to talk about the definition the background my learning journey and a couple of successful stories. Stories, but first, uh, my thesis statement, which is, my mapping as a visual aid contributes contribute to improve the understanding of any subject. We need to know the definition of my mapping, which is, uh, it is creativity and productivity enhancing technique that can improve the learning and efficiency of individuals and organization. The main idea here is to visualize on paper our thoughts or ideas to make them more understandable and to remember information uh, easily. So I'm going to talk about uh, a little bit about the background. And I select like two key points that for me are um, very important that, that it supports my mapping very well. The first is the historic characters and the second one is the brain correlation. First, the Greek minds. This is our, these are the historic characters. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci, Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein, Charles Darwin. There are some of the characters that use this technique for their lives and their uh, works. As you know, these guys contribute um, in many important things. So they use them, they use this technique to make their thoughts, be, thoughts visible and advance their disciplines uh, creativity. They were able to organize, develop and remember their thoughts, uh, their thoughts um, with the help of images. As I mentioned previously, it's easier to recall information when we see images. Um, actually, the main idea of the mind map is that it has to be colorful. So it's easier to recall that this concept was in this color or make the brain um, more uh, kind of flexible to, to recall things and organize information. So the point here, why is it convenient to use mind maps? It's easy because the brain has a natural skill of visual recognition. And it's more, actually, it's more likely to remember things when we use images to represent thoughts. As I mentioned previously, these guys like the, the, um, the historic uh, characters use images um, to, to organize and recall and, and show information as is, is natural, more natural for the brain. Then I will talk a little bit of my learning journey. Um, I will say that I have learned how to improve my grades by using my mapping, my mapping as a visual aid. What were the, the causes that I had to deal with to use this technique? So I, from the beginning of my, of my school, I to, to have bad grades, 
some stressed. I failed to succeed with uh, common techniques such as my parents used to um, to apply me practice test, some audios, um, tutors, and not even one of those those technique, techniques helped me to retain the information. So I'm feeling disappointment with these techniques. That's where, that's that were the causes uh, that I failed in school. Now, the discovery. How did I discover uh, my map? I learned it from a classmate. Um, she was doing one of the mind map during class and I didn't know what was it, so I asked her. And she told me that it was a really helpful uh, technique that she used to study for the exams. So when she told about it, I found it like very dynamic, colorful, uh, we use images. And it's actually appealing to visual learning method. It, uh, it's what it is. So um, we all have different ways to learn, definitely. And I discovered that mine is to be a, a visual learner. So this technique is the most useful for me, not only for school, but for my life, uh, when I have to plan for travel or even when I got married, I did it with a mind map. It's so easy to, to, to organize everything. So what were the achievements that I did with the mind mapping? Um, I got greater retention, better understanding, um, and I improved my time man management because I used to waste a lot of time trying to find out a way to, to have good grades to study to retain information and none of them worked for me. So doing this, as I mentioned before, not help just with my studies, but with my life as a whole. Now, um, I found, well, I researched and I found uh, two cases of, of, uh, of success of my mapping. So the first, of them is uh, about Indonesian students. It was a study that they did with a fifth grade of students in Indonesia. They, the teachers make them to, to study with comics, mathematics. And they, they uh, support it with my mapping. So they made this study with uh, if I'm not wrong, 60, 60 students, and they found that it was a great tool to use for mathematics as well. So they ended up with mathematical comics based on my map have been so self successful. And some of the, well, the professors find it that they consider it valid and viable to, to use like in, on any subject because uh, many people think that learning mathematics, it has to be doing as exercises like just questions and answers and using the brain and calculator and things like that. But actually it could be better by using my maps. So second case is um, about the Arabic students. Uh, these guys were uh, applying my map for different activities. And they were like half and half women and girls and boys. So this, the, um, the study revealed that was an increased interest in discussing my mapping, comparing the map schemes and adjusting um, vocabulary or ideas because these guys used to do some um, Kind of PowerPoint presentations in class, but they found that they become boring. 
So, because they were all always the same and they found by doing this, my map could be more even interactive and more attractive to, to, their, to, to the eyes. And why we should try to use my map? It's not only because it helped us to, to organize our, our ideas or to have a visual um, recall. It's also because it helped us to the pro, um, with prob problem, problem solving and keeping calm. How does that work? Well, first of all, problem solving. Um, when we have a problem, we got stress straight away. So um, trying to put our thoughts on paper and trying to clarify the problem, um, put the things and try to organize will make um, our problem more visible and easier to solve. And on the other side, keeping calm. Well, as you are organized and you can see what are your priorities, you <laughs> can, can actually be calm. So, um, well, with the keep calm, you can get you are having control over over the problem as well, and you can think more logical and creatively within within a good structure and, and basis. And that's that's all. Um, I cannot ask you if you have any questions, but I hope you like this presentation. And I apologize if I showed a little bit nervous, but. Uh, uh, well, I did my best. These are, these are my reference and thank you very much for your time.